Ukraine's foreign minister describes how a group of 31 soldiers made Robotine offensive possible. Ukraine's foreign minister Dmitro Kuleba, while on a visit in France, has recounted the story of Ukrainian defenders' successful counteroffensive in the village of Robotine in Zaporizhia Oblast. The foreign minister said that for several months, one Ukrainian unit had been conducting continuous assaults in this area of the front, and due to exhaustion and losses, at some point, this unit lost the ability to continue the offensive. And then radical decisions were made, the unit's leadership was changed. The minister said that the new commander asked to assemble soldiers who were motivated and ready to perform combat missions. A consolidated group of 31 soldiers was created, a third of whom had no combat experience, but all of whom had the knowledge and will to win. Kuleba added that thanks to the leadership of the commanders and sergeants, this group established horizontal links with neighboring units and started working on the contact line. For 18 hours, they crawled literally on their stomachs through kilometers of minefields, where the Russians had placed six mines per square meter. Finally, the unit reached a strip of trees dividing farmers' fields. Everyone in Ukraine knows this word, a tree plantation. It's in these plantations, invisible on maps, that the greatest tragedies and heroism of the war take place. So, our unit drove the Russians out of there and held the position for two days until reinforcements arrived. Subsequently, this group walked another 10 kilometers with backpacks weighing 35 to 40 kilograms through minefields. They only had time to catch their breath briefly and immediately stormed the fortified Russian positions, drove the enemy out and held out until the main forces arrived. In total, this unit conducted six assaults and two reconnaissance missions in 40 days. Group of 31 men did the work of an entire battalion, which should have consisted of about 400 men. The losses amounted to seven wounded, including only one seriously injured after stepping on a mine. In fact, the work of this group made it possible for an entire brigade to attack Robotine and liberate it after weeks of assaults. After securing its flanks, we opened the way to Tokmak and, ultimately, Melitopol and the border with Crimea, Kuleba said.